These days, it's pretty difficult to go into a room without there being a mirror somewhere. And even if we can't help but notice them, hello there, we do tend to take them for granted. But you know what? It's time that we saw the truth behind the mirror. It's time for Al Connected's general knowledge. About 5,000 years ago, mirrors were made of highly polished disks of metal, such as bronze, copper, and for the super rich, gold. In all cases, a mirror was a highly prized symbol of status and wealth. But most were barely a foot across, if that. And as for their reflective properties, well, compared to modern mirrors, they could be a bit dim. Then around the first century common era, another style of mirror arrived, the metal-backed glass mirror. Early versions of this were kind of crude, but by the 16th century, glass artisans in the Republic of Venice had become pretty good at what was called silvering. Now that's the process of coating glass with a thin layer of metal. The only thing? One of the metals used in this process was mercury, also known as one of the most toxic metals in the world. Then, in the mid-1800s, German chemist Justus von Liebig figured out how to use actual metallic silver in his silvering process. The way was now cleared for an age of safer and inexpensive mirrors. A mirror begins as a large sheet of plate glass. It's first cleaned with hot demineralized water, and then the layering begins. First comes a layer of liquid tin, and then a layer of silver, though some manufacturers will use aluminum here instead. In either case, these metals react with one another, harden, and presto, you have a reflective surface. From here on, it's a relatively simple matter of covering the silvering with a couple layers of protective paint. This is then baked to cure or set that coating. Underneath the layer of glass, the silvering will never need polishing and never dull. Looking sharp, modern mirror. Hey, thanks for watching this video, instead of, you know, say, your own reflection. And don't forget to follow us so you never miss an episode of Al Connected's General Knowledge.